Hi Sag, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. I just heard the word potential. All right. So whoever is coming in or probably the next connection that's coming in for you has a lot of potential. I don't know what kind of potential that is. It, I just said, I just heard potential. All right. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the World card. The Hierophant. And then the Emperor. These are all major arcanas coming out. You have the Justice card. Could be dealing with a Libra. Or an air sign because also the world card is an Aquarian card. You have the Hierophant. The Hanged Man. What is happening? These are all... So it looks like whoever is coming in... Is someone with a plan. Alright, someone with a plan, Saj. Underneath the deck is the Six of Pentacles. You're, you're now realizing that... Um, the last few relationships or connections that you've been in, there was always an imbalance between you and the person that you were dealing with. All right, you gave more, I have to say. I'm getting the energy where you're the person who gave more to the, to the connection, all right? And now you realize that things should be in balance. It should be give and take for you. And now there's a lot of realization or there's a lot of reflection here that this is something that you will be, you know, setting in the next connection that you will be in. That's coming in for you. All right. Take it how it resonates. You have the Knight of Swords, the World card, the Hierophant, the Emperor. These are all, well, you have five major arcanas. Right? You have five major arcanas. It's major changes happening for you. And it's actually very exciting, Sag. Let's put this here. Sorry, I uh, I feel for some reason, I, I usually put the cards here, the deck here, but for some reason, I feel like I'm going to, I don't know. Anyway, enough blabbering. You have the Knight of Swords as your overall energy. Whoever is coming in, it's going to come in very hot and fast in the next few weeks, I have to say. Next few weeks, whoever is coming in, this is someone who's going to communicate to you, who's going to come in very fast, and it's going to take you by surprise. This is someone very logical and really plans when to come in, how to come in, when to come in, what are the right words to say. This is someone who's very open towards you. All right. Um, I'm getting this person actually has a lot to say so maybe this is someone who you've I'm, I'm picking up on someone you who you've put in the back burner all right this is someone you you know who asked you out maybe but for some reason you chose another person to be in a connection with and this person was you know was just a suitor that that time then Right now they're coming back in. There's someone who hasn't really, you know, moved on from you. But I'm also picking up on not moved on, but you never really were in the, in a connection with this person. Like you dated for a few times, but then you met someone else and decided to go with that person instead. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right. But whoever this is, this is someone who's very open to communicating to you how they really felt. All right. This is someone who's. 
I'm getting someone who's bottled up all their emotions inside. And in a very good way, I have to say. In a very good way. Like, they all have all this love for you. But they were just, you know, bottling it up inside because you were in a connection. You were in a different connection. Alright, now this person is coming in very fast, swiftly. And it's going to take you by surprise. The world card and then the justice card. Alright, this could be someone who's traveling, traveling, coming, traveling from another country, from another, you know, city. Traveling to see you, alright? Again, spirit is highlighting to, uh, highlighting to me the scales. So, this person brings a lot of balance. This person will respect, I have to say, will respect the boundaries that you set in the connection. This is a whole new chapter coming in for you, I have to say. And it comes in at the right time. Right time, right place, right person. I keep on hearing that. Right time, right place, right person. You could be dealing with either a Libra or an Aquarius or someone who has those placements in their charts. For some of you, this person actually ended a relationship to be with you. All right? They could be, they could have been, um, engaged to be married or someone who was actually married and was just getting out of a situation for some reason i'm picking up on someone who this person you were their first love you were their first love sag but the thing is you both had to go through that cycle through some sort of cycle that uh, you had to complete in order to grow up to you know to yeah to grow up i have to say that you have the hierophant and then the hanged man this is someone who has been hanging around just someone looking at you from a distance hanging around um waiting for you to for waiting for the right time to come in this is someone i'm getting very wise and traditional they want to if ever you give this person a chance this is someone who will see this relationship this connection with you as something more than just you know a fling this is someone who wants to take it to a higher level of commitment. This is actually someone who sees getting married to you in a very traditional sense. I'm getting this person is actually wise. Right? This person is actually wise. And another thing, spirit is spirit is just highlighting to me. All the sitting all right all the sitting so maybe it's about sitting don't look for love let love come to you it will come to you the right place the right time just don't get up don't go looking for it it will come to you all right the Emperor card and then the king of swords this is someone who has a plan to come in if you could see knight of swords to the king of swords this is someone who will prove to you that they're not just a knight they're a king they're an emperor actually they're an emperor this is someone who is very smart i have to say very smart you could be dealing with an aries take it out resonates or you could have an aries placement but just this is someone who knows what they want. And when they want something or someone, which is you, they will have a plan on how to win you over. They may seem non-expressive when it comes to their emotions. But you know, 
deep inside, I'm getting someone who loves you with all their heart. There's a very soft spot for you. With the King of Swords here, could be someone from again from a from a distance. The King of Swords is a very it's very much an international card. So it could be someone from another culture, another country. Take it how it resonates. Let's see the outcome. You have the Strength card, the High Priestess, and then the Four of Cups. All major arcanas. Underneath the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So there is a lot of potential for this to become a long-term and stable relationship. All right. Strength card, High Priestess, and then the Four of Cups. The High Priestess and then the Higher Friend is showing up both feminine and masculine energies. All right. So I'm getting a lot of balance between the two of you. Okay. I'm getting a lot of balance between the two of you. The outcome here is more on knowing understanding intuitively knowing all right intuitively knowing that you will always get what you want you will end up with with this person if you choose to believe all right if you choose to believe that this person is the one for you you will end up with them it's a wish granted as long as you believe don't give up on that wish all right don't give up on that wish with the strength card don't give up just everything that you want you will get this person the kind of person that you want you will get okay the hermit card the devil card and then the king of wands as advice for you sag so i'm picking up on why are there so many? One, two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine major arcana. So whoever is coming in is going to bring major changes for you. Like something very much life changing. The advice for you is take action. All right, take action. Stop being so stuck. The devil card and then the hermit card are both stagnant stagnant cards stagnant energies and the king of wands is showing up not because you know someone who's a player is coming in blah 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 no it's not like that it's more on you needing to take action it's always up to you to get yourself unstuck all right if that made any sense anyway other messages please let's see other messages You saw me shuffle these cards. You see me shuffle these cards. Again, take action. Just a reminder, take action. All right, the King of Wands is showing up. I told you earlier before shuffling the Oracle cards to take action. Yes, it is. There is a need to take action, really. All right. And then you have Child. So, Miss, this could be someone you've met during your childhood you could be childhood sweethearts with this person this person could have a child you could have a child all right take it out resonate so that is all i have for you sag i hope something in this reading resonated and if it did please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you i love you all so much i'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed